Good afternoon, Team TDLC. Uh, we're coming to you today just to give you really an update on where we're at as a department in our response to COVID-19, following the governor's recommendations, and also uh, doing some things that we do every year is re in related to flu season and, and the precautions we take in our mainly in our correctional facilities. First of all, I want to thank the men and women uh, who work in our facilities each and every day. Not only in today uh, and, to, and what we're going through today, but every day that you show up and, and provide the services that you provide to the people of Tennessee. Corrections is a unique profession, and I, I've said it before, you guys have a most difficult job. But I'm proud of the response that we've seen uh, in our facilities and as a department. We've done something, you know, we've stopped visitation uh, uh, for our inmate population. We've uh, issued some new, and I guess new and improved sanitation guidelines uh, to clean high touch areas with sanitizers and, you know, just reminding people how important it is to wash your hands each and every day, uh, multiple times throughout the day. So I'm gonna ask Dr. Williams to go over some of the things that we're doing specifically in our facilities uh, and then bring you up to date on the latest information regarding uh, COVID-19 and what, where we're at in the department and what we see going forward in the days to come. Dr. Williams? Dr. Williams here. Um, I'm sure at this point you all have noticed the additional signage that we've placed up at all the facilities. We want to make sure that you all are as informed and educated as possible so that you know what's going on and you uh, can see some of the precautions and suggestions that we've uh, placed out there. Um, as you're aware, as Commi uh, Commissioner mentioned, uh, we're taking extra precautions with uh, disinfecting surfaces. Uh, we've taken a close look at the uh, solutions that we're using to disinfect with to ensure that they're uh, effective uh, to keep you all safe. Uh, we're paying attention to those high-touch areas such as doorknobs, light switches, uh, banisters, and the uh, common work areas so that uh, as we uh, change shifts and move from one person to the next, we can mitigate the exposure uh, as much as possible. We've also taken steps such as screening to actively surveil for any signs or symptoms of uh, an active upper or lower respiratory infection. And we've given our staff specific instructions on exactly how to manage those cases, which would include isolating uh, anyone that is of concern for our inmates um, and placing them in contact and respiratory isolation, again, to mitigate any uh, exposure. For our staff that come and go and our contractors, we're also actively screening those individuals, again, so that we can mitigate any exposure. Our goal is to keep our inmates as well as the community uh, at large as safe as possible. I know the, the processes that we have in place in Tennessee uh, in talking to other commissioners in other states pretty much the same across America. Uh, I think the processes we see here are standard. Uh, they are the best practices. I've been in touch with ACA uh, this morning, matter of fact, and we're doing exactly what we should be doing uh, to help control uh, the spread of this disease. Uh, you know, just be assured that we're staying on top of this situation and as, as, the flu as it changes, this is a very fluid situation. There may be new protocols, there may be new standards that we roll out. If we do, we'll certainly communicate that uh, to all the leadership in the department and, and to the facilities and the field. But I just again want to thank the staff who are doing a great job, who come to work every day. You know, we wear the uniform and we have no option of staying home unless we're sick. Uh, we're, we're reporting every day, so I want you to know how much I appreciate the work you do uh, for myself as commissioner and also as a citizen of the state. So we'll be back in touch. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to send them up through your warden up to uh, headquarters and we'll get those answered for you. Uh, but again, I would just remind you of the things Dr. Williams has said, making sure that we're wiping off these high touch areas every day, two or three times a day. Wardens should be uh, making sure that's happening. 
uh, and then just following universal precautions. Uh, what we do every year during, during flu season, this is not a new practice for us, really. That's correct. But it's just uh, remembering those best practices and following through uh, on them each and every day. Thank you for what you do. We'll be back in touch uh, in the days to come. Thank you. Thank you.